Arizona and Colorado concluding their holiday weekend war. And after Saturday's 4th of July fireworks, which included 18 total runs and 25 hits, one wonders if Sunday's series finale might be equally explosive. Rubber match between the two teams who combined for three homers on the 4th, July 5th, starting a little slower. Scoreless through two and a half, bottom three, Ryan Spielborgs, Dan Heron can't handle. That allows Ubaldo Jimenez to bring home the game's first run, one zip. Same frame, same score, Todd Helton. Liner to right, this will bring in Seth Smith. Rocks up 2 nothing through three, and in the fourth, finally, some fireworks for Tulo. Troy Tulowitzki. Off Heron for his 13th on the air. It's 3 0. Now we've been talking about explosions. Well, I guess that makes Jimenez the extinguisher, putting out fires all afternoon. Chris Young and Gerardo Parra both down on strikes in the fifth. Heron also going good, striking out Brad Hopp for one of his six Ks, but it's Jimenez who takes a no no into the six, sitting down Heron. The no no is still alive. But four batters later against Mark Reynolds. Here goes the no no, the shutout, and the lead. A three-run moonshot to left. We got a tie ball game, 3-3. Top seven baseball, such a cruel, cruel game sometimes. Jimenez gives up an RBI single to Felipe Lopez. The D-backs take their first lead, 4-3. Jimenez would be removed following the at-bat as in a single inning, he goes from a no-hitter to leaving in line to take the loss. Well, could his O pick him up in the eighth? Garrett Atkins, look at Tony Clark hustling down there to haul in the pop-up, still 4-3. We go to the ninth, the Rockies' last chance to salvage Jimenez. But Seth Smith grounds out to end it. 4-3, your final Jimenez gets the L. D-back starter Denny Heron actually earns the W despite giving up the three early runs. He goes six strong with six Ks for his eighth win. Mark Reynolds accounting for three of Arizona's four runs, all on one swing.